things to shave. I'm going to shave some stuff. I've got things to review. I've got things to do. But first of all, I'm going to wet my face. I hope you've had a good week. Here, it is horrible. It's raining. There's a storm. There's wind. It's been icy. I'm sure next week, this week to come, we're going to have ice and wind. I've literally had enough of the winter in your country, the UK. It's horrible. I've had enough. I'm going to be flying to Italy sooner than I hope. I just... So today, you're all thinking, what are you going to review? You're shouting, what are you going to review? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to review. The tools of the trade, the bowl, terracotta, three pounds or something like that from Sainsbury's. The razor, the Gillette 1971 Black Beauty, adjustable. The beard oil, well-groomed wizard, bergamot and mandarin to help the shave be smooth across the face. The brush, razor rock. Um, classic wet shaving razor rock um, brush. And to finish off, this weird one, Locketane. Locketane is kind of a luxury aftershave balm. They do other stuff, but that's what I'm reviewing. Locutane or Lusitane. I have no idea. I've, I've seen about six videos on this sort of stuff, and each person pronounces it differently. So I'm going to call it Locutane, Locutane. And for the out, of, out and about afterwards, Monty and Wild, Sea Salt and Amber, Aftershave or Eau de Toilet, Marks and Spencers. What soap, I hear you shout. It's a sample. Molten Brown London Triple Milled Soap. Just a little sample. I'm going to try that out. And for the kind of top of the beard, I've got this Timu straight razor, which I've honed and stropped to within an inch of its life. It was like four pounds or something crazy. So first of all, I'm going to undo this crazily wrapped um, thing. Walter Brown do proper size stuff. I just was given a load of samples. It smells just like kind of traditional soap. It smells nice though. And I'm going to decant it into this bowl. Then I'm going to take out my Razor Rock Bruce classic wet shaving brush. There you go. Synthetic. No badges were harmed in the making of this. Smells synthetic. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's synthetic. Yeah. Razor Rock Bruce. We're going to soak the brush just because I like it nice and wet. Actually, I'm not going to put the soap in there. I can't stand touching soap. Is anyone else like that? I just can't stand a bar of soap. So I'm going to get this slightly wet brush. I'm shaking it. And I'm going to push the soap onto the brush. And hopefully gather a sufficient amount to shave with. It smells nice though, it smells just like traditional soap, you know, old school soap. But let's see what it's like on the face. That's where it all comes down. So it's lathering up all right. I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to cover this new brush in the soap and then we'll work our magic in the bowl but first of all wet the face I've already done a lot of that hot water not enough to burn your face off obviously and I do squidge of that this is nice mandarin and bergamot you can smell both a mandarin's quite strong, but it kind of fades away 
and it doesn't leave your skin stinking of burn. I'm going to put another squirt on because I didn't put enough in my hand. I mean, this is good because you don't want one that really is overpowering. I did go today to Sainsbury's to show you what's on offer to the average gent in the UK if you want to go wet shaving. Typically, it was absolutely packed. There was people everywhere and a gentleman was standing uh, all, all the time in front of the aisle I wanted to record. And he was just there for literally half an hour. Did some shopping, came back, there he was. Hold on. This is the poor shaving aisle. Yeah, so we put the, the oil on, it's soaked into the skin, and uh, I can't, I've, I've done a, a little video of the stuff that the blokes have on offer if we're gonna have a shave. It's like when I go into Sainsbury's, it's if they just think no one really shaves. We're just given this the, the basic stuff. Most of it is Harry's. There's a load of stuff. Look at that mouth right Harry's stuff, cartridge razors galore, and Gillette squirty foam soap. That's pretty much it. And uh, if you want a little bit, you want to step out of line, you're going to have a minty Gillette foamy spray. Not an awful lot of choice. But you're a gentleman and you deserve a good shave. Look at that. I mean, that's good. Peaky, peaking, which means it's kind of pointy. It doesn't kind of like turn into a mush. So we're going to slap that on the face. This brush is nice. It's enough to, it's not like a boar hair one, which is a bit more coarse. It's, it's not like my badger hair one, which is really soft, a bit too soft, I think. It's got a good, you can feel it kind of pushing, you want to push that stuff into your beard. That feels nice. Soapy smell. Just smells like when I used to go to school and they had soap in the sinks. We shall see if it's going to dry out the skin. But it feels nice going on. Okay. Got a feather blade in there. I've used it once with my Gillette on nine. I'm going to have a shave. Can you hear the wind? You may not be able to hear it, but it's really windy. So windy. Mm. This razor is so good. So it's an old classic razor. It's 1971 it was made or released. Yeah, it was made in that symbol. It's a good shape. It smells nice, that soapy smell permeating along. And then we're going to do, we're going to get the uh, straight razor. With a straight razor like this, it's not a one that you put a a razor blade on you want to use this a flannel or something to wipe it off because if you sh shake it around in the water there's a chance that you will knock this very fine blade and it will have like a kink and that could really cut you when you have a shave so little tip the light is going because it's pitch black outside I can't see a thing ah, that's better It always feels it demands your attention one of these things if you haven't tried one 
I really recommend just getting a straight razor, practicing on little patches first of all, because it will cut you. Using the nose as a fulcrum to kind of do that, you want a little movement. It's really hard in the dark. It's blowing a gale. And if you want to get into wet shaving, you can't really do it in the shops. And I know I've had some discussions with people online. You can buy some classic stuff in Boots or Sainsbury's sometimes. But you want to get something and then you want to branch out. You want to expand your collection. Um, but I think we don't have enough stuff in the shops. I think people are just blokes are just settling for stuff second best cartridge, instant this, instant that. I think you deserve better. And I think you do too. So this soap isn't drying out my face. It's not the thickest soap, and I've really gone for it. It's not. It smells soapy. Nothing like, it's not like uh, smells of anything like cauliflower or cabbage or bergamot or mandarin. It just smells like soap. Smooth as a baby's butt. Yeah, it feels nice. Okay, so we've done two passes, which I think is a sufficient amount. Let's take this off with a flannel. Let's hope our weeks are good, full of shaving and novelty smells and stuff to stick on the chops. You never know. You may walk into a shop, second-hand shop, and find a really nice ancient double-edged razor or you can go into I know in Sainsbury's they do some wood and sword double-edged razors so you can start it but it's not just about starting it's about maintaining and having the choice to have other options not just blooming mint shaving foam or wood and sword they do wood and sword soap in a bowl which is good but again that's just soap soapy smell I've done a review on that in the past have a look at my past um, right so we've done the face had a shave I'm gonna use this Lockerbine Eau de Boeuf made in France surprisingly um, Locketine luxury goods what does it say it's all in French doesn't help it's got, if you're blind it's helpful it's got the uh, stuff there but I can see, but I can't read um, that. So, there you go. So I'm going to put a little door up, not too much, just to see how far it goes. Ooh, a lot of air in there, just squeeze. That was just air. So I've got that much on my hand. That 
that smells nice. What does it smell like? Um, what does it smell like? What does this smell like? Um, smells, there's a soapy smell, like a traditional soapy smell, but there's more. There's like a, there's like a leather, a little bit of a leather sort of smell. Does it have any ingredients? It's far too small. I mean, you cannot read that at all. It's like a leathery smell in there. Maybe bergamot. Bit of lemon. But it's quite a distinctive smell. Oh, by the way, the um, the soap does not, I didn't feel that dried out my face whatsoever, so I think that's good. Good for a review. So there you go, that's uh, just a little bit of some reviewing for you to enjoy. Oh, at the end, if you're going about town, you know, try some Monty and Wild Odour Toilet. It's definitely sea salt and amber. You just definitely, whatever amber smells like, I have no idea, but it definitely smells sea salty. But subtle and I'm a kind of aftershavey version, so it's not just salt. You're not just walking around with a load of salt on your face. It's kind of like a manly smell. Oh yeah, it's nice. So there you go, there's a few things. Razor up. I really like this. This is a good brush. It looks good. It's kind of stiff sufficiently to push the stuff into your face. The Morton and Brown soap it was nice. Uh, all in all, I'm very happy with that shave. I hope you have a great week and um, oh, out of a dirt, she.